Okay, so it's Monday, January 11th, um, and we, my name is Michelle Okawa, so I'll be your interviewer today. Um, we want to first start out by, um, if you can please state your full name, and if you could spell it as well. Ben Tsutomu, T-S-U-T-O-M-U, Kayashima, K-A-Y-A-S-H-I-M-A. Okay. And uh, where were you... I don't need to spell Ben, do I? No, you're, you're okay. And uh, where were you born? This place called Sawtell, S-A-W-T-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, California. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sawtell. It's an enclave over there well, between Wilshire and Pico. Okay. Still there today, very active. Okay. And uh, when was that? 1930, March 28th. Okay. Um, so can you describe what uh, what it was like living in Sawtell at that time? I was too young to know. Oh, okay. You don't remember, or? Well, I was born there, but my when I was very, very young, I think I was still less than one years old, my dad sent the whole family back to Japan to await the death of his grandmother. So we were there for a whole year. I think she died in 98. Okay. Okay, so then... Um, so, then so then when we came back, I can't remember things until probably I was about three years old, I think. Okay, no problem. So um, when you, after you went to Japan, did you come back to Sawtell? Yes. Okay. So, and that was around three years old, you said? No. We were back within a year, and then 1933, is my understanding, we moved uh, together with about three other families to an area called Terra Bella, California. Okay. So, I've never heard of that. Um, do you know where that is now? Are you from there, is California? Yeah. Okay. During the wintertime, uh -huh. Terra Bella gives the frost warnings. Oh, okay. It's a small little hamlet just south of Porterville, California. Oh, okay. That's in Tulare County. You ever hear it? Yeah, I've yeah. heard of Tulare. Okay. But, okay. So we went farming all, all three families mm -hmm. out of Sawtell. We came back in 1939 to the Torrance area and to the nursery business that was owned by one of our relatives. Mm -hmm. Torrance area, okay. So I started school, grammar school, um, I think probably 1935, 36. Okay. And in Torrance. Then we moved to Torrance. It's really an area called Walteria. It's W-A-L-T-E-R-I-A. -E it's still there. Oh, okay. It's his own, own post office. It's right off of 101. But it's called part of Torrance, I think, now, mm -hmm. on the western side. Okay. And then um, uh, when you were living in Torrance during that time, um, do you remember what life was like then? Um, well, let's see. I was nine. The war started in 41, so that was I was 11. Um, I just started, I think, when the war started and we moved out of there. I was, I was going to Norbon, I think, because of Norbon High School. Okay. Okay. You want to know how 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 big our family was? Um, oh, I think we'll get to that. Okay. <laughs> um, actually, um, just going back, um, can you please state your current occupation? I'm retired. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let me let me put it in this fashion. Okay. I was a lawyer practicing in Pomona from 1959, January to March 1980 when I was appointed as a judge in San Bernardino County. I retired as a judge in December 31st, 2012, so that's about 32 years plus. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, I did mediation type work. And last year, on March 28th, when I turned 85, I retired from anything dealing with, with that type of work. I actually stopped working for money oh. at that point. Uh -huh. And the way I looked at it, I figured I, I should stop 
before people would say he should have. Oh. Because okay. I was just, I, was just, I thought I was so in, uh, old enough. Mm -hmm. I still do pro bono work to this day. And that pro bono work consists of a committee of 10 dealing with Riverside County and San Bernardino County where people make applications to become judges of either county mm -hmm. and or to fill um, vacancies that may show up on, on the 4th District Court of Appeal. And what happens when the applica application is made, we have a person or uh, an attorney who's in charge and the secretary, his job is to rotate us uh, on a basis of it's my turn type of thing. Mm. As an example, I just got noticed this last Friday that there's an application that I have to work on. And what I do with that application is I interview all the witnesses that they put on, the applicant does, but I also interview people that's not on that list to get a more better picture. Mm -hmm. And I discuss my ranking of that person with the other nine uh, people that are also on that committee. And they could be attorneys, they could be judges, things of that sort, or people on the Court of Appeal. Mm -hmm. And after a discussion, we have we conclude as to what the ranking should be. Mm -hmm. The ranking that goes from anywhere from not qualified to qualified, well qualified to extremely well qualified. Mm -hmm. And if it's extremely well qualified or qualified plus type of thing, then we say you're referred to the Gini Commission, which is a committee that then uh, questions those people, uh, and then may or may not take it to the governor's office. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's what I'm still doing. Wow. Wow, sounds like you're still doing a lot of a lot of stuff, even when it, you're retired. <laughs> it's work. Mm -hmm. But it keeps my mind going, so that's the reason why I'm doing it, for one thing. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. I'm going to pause for just one second. <laughs>